I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Stream laptop here. These are the low budget laptops. They do get shipped out with a 64 gig uh, eMMC chip on the board and people keep asking me can I upgrade the storage on this one or can I not? How can I do it? And uh, some people make a, oh I see this guy adding an M.2 slot in there. Does it work? He did it. He worked. I'm just going to cover all those in. I'm going to open it up and explain it to you guys why you cannot upgrade the storage on this one. The storage on this one, they become soldered on the board. The EMMC chip is soldered on the board. And the only way to upgrade it is to take it to a technician that can desolder that EMMC chip. And you should buy it on AliExpress or Alibaba or on eBay, a 256 gig EMMC chip and they have to solder that on this board. That's called a reballing of the chip. It's a BGA chip, it has to be reballed in. It's not something that you guys can do it at home or just install it. And if you even install an M.2 drive in here, or like, you know what, I'm gonna purchase the slot for M.2, solder that in, and it's gonna work, it's not gonna work because of the firmware and many other components that are relation to that jack is not installed. So that's out of the question too. All right, so let's open it up and let's take a look inside quickly. To open it up, you, all you need to do is to grab yourself an opening tool. And in this case, I'm gonna use a guitar pick and we're gonna remove the bottom uh, rubbers right here. And we're just gonna lift up this rubber legs. So I do this video so you guys don't have to do it for yours. So you guys can see what's inside exactly. For the opening tools, a uh, screwdriver set, I use the iFixit screwdriver set, Phillips number one, and we are going to remove all the screws on the bottom here. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, once you remove all the screws, now we need to remove the palm rest. All right, we're going to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover, and we're just going to rotate all around in the front. You wanna hear those clicks. We wanna do the USB port on micro SD side too. Uh, we need to do uh, on the back end in the corners. Put it right there. And back here. Other corner. And the top cover should come out pretty easy. So down here, and there we have we have the battery, the RAM that is upgradable. I made a video on that. And the CPU is right here under this aluminium heatsink, which is a tablet pretty much, Wi-Fi board, and Pretty much that's it. The EMMC chip is on the motherboard, soldered on the board. So that's the only thing. If you want to upgrade, get the EMMC chip, take it to a reballing place where they can reball it, and that's it. In here, there's a space for M.2 jack. But if you do even get an M.2 jack installed in here, there's a many components that they still need to be installed and firmware upgrade, uh, charger replacement, because power delivery is different and many other things. So this is what's, what you get inside your laptop, and this is why you cannot upgrade the storage at home. And the only one that you can upgrade to is a 256 gig eMMC chip that you can buy it off eBay or on AliExpress. I'll try to leave, leave a link for those if you're interested to do the upgrade with a, with a good technician. All right, once we finish here, we're just going to grab this one on top, bring down and scoop down the I.O. side, and push down the side corner, the back, make sure you those clicks. In the middle, there's a clip right there. Now we're going to open it up, and we're going to pinch the top and the bottom cover all around. Make sure you hear those big clicks. There we go. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screws and put the rubber legs on top. 
I hope this video helped you guys out to understand about your upgrading the storage on this one. If you have any question or request, leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And as always, if you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys around in my next video.